Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Vlog Mail. This time Kepler's eating all your letters. He's literally eating this letter. Wow, I'm sorry. Kepler. I'm sorry, Brandon. Uh, speaking of, our featured letter is from... Brandon in Houston, Texas. And uh, Brandon's letter, which has now got a few, few little chomp marks on the corner says, Dear Stephen Amau, I've been meaning to write this letter to you guys for literally eight years, but I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, I started watching you guys when I was around 10. I found your vlogs first, and now I'm 18 and about to graduate from high school in Houston, Texas. You've brought me so much joy throughout my hardest times when I really struggled with my mental health, and you've been a huge inspiration in my life. I'm planning on starting my own vlogging channel, uh, most likely under my name, in fall this year, when, I'm, uh, when I moved to Korea to study what is essentially marketing. I couldn't have made it this far without you in my life. With this leather, I have sent something from my childhood. I honestly have no clue of its purpose, but my parents bought these two copies of a Pokemon Snap Book Player's Guide. I have no clue. So there's a Pokemon Snap Book Player's... There's two copies. There's two copies. And it's a Pokemon Snap... Is it a Player's Guide? Oh, that's the middle of both books. <laughs> it's like a storybook. I mean, it's like chapter one. So it's like a storybook type thing. But like... You'll have to show them. I will. Okay, because... You... <laughs> I was just trying to turn to a page. So it's kind of a player's guide, but also kind of, kind of tells a story? I have no use for it, but I figured you would have some uh, semblance of what it is. I spent a large majority of my childhood with this book, so I hope you enjoy this well. It tells literally the entire plot of the game from start to finish, but I didn't even have an N64 growing up. This is an official Nintendo product too, which is interesting, and there are even more books written by this person. Anyway, I've rambled long enough, so I'll end it here. You guys mean so much to me, and I'll forever continue watching every single one of your channels until vlog year 8073. Mal makes year 9084. Steven plays year 9840. I think you get the point. With BK Love, Brandon. And it also says, uh, P.S. The uh, Q&A video detailing Steven's journalism life made me laugh as I do journalism as well. And there's a bunch of, uh, <laughs> it was a, there's a bunch of other PP, PP asses. It says, I was the one who made uh, the, is this a leaked Pokemon joke during the amazing creation of Peggy during Extra Life 2018. Ah, I see. And there's a few things on the back including a drawing of an evil Satan cat. If you ever wanted to know what an evil Satan cat looked like, uh, look at that drawing. I almost said, look at look at Sagan, but he's a sweetheart. He's a sweet. I could he's never- He's good now, he's, wherever he's pretty, he is. He's, he's being pretty good. He's being pretty good. He's certainly not Satan. Uh, well, Brandon, thank you. These are uh, interesting because it's not, they it's not a player's like a guide. They tell you like a photo score though. And like, it's like, Todd has an idea to throw a whatever out of whatever, and it pops out, and that's Pokemon number 30. Honestly, it, it, it looks as if someone played Pokemon Snap with a capture device, and then turned that into some sort of short novel. And Mal's right, though. Whenever they take pictures, they list what score they got in the game, which is, this is such a strange product. It's very strange, but it's uh, it's interesting. Brandon, thank you for uh, sending these our way. Next package is from Crystal in Topeka, Kansas. And Crystal sends. Ooh. <laughs> Crystal sends ooh. <laughs> A wee. Let's see what this leather says. Dear Stephen Amell, I hope the new year has treated the two of you well. In the box, you will find a toaster car. Oh my God! It's a Hot Wheels toaster car. I love it. Roller toaster. And it's literally a toaster. It kind of looks like a PT Cruiser almost. Or With wheels. Or a hearse. And uh, it looks like on the back, you can pull the little lever down. And it puts the toast in. I think so, yeah. And it has a little plug on the side. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, I found it at work and I knew I had to get it. Just don't put butter on the bread before you toast it. Next is some dark chocolate Oreos. I didn't know they made those. I don't know how they taste, but they looked interesting. That's it, just a little something from a fan. Oh, and I checked the prices for um, a Barbie as the Island Princess doll. Let's just say the thought counts. Let's meet back again, shall we, from Crystal. Well, thank you, Crystal. Um, I don't know anything about the Barbie market. I just know that uh, some some damn dolls- Yeah, are worth some money. Expensive, 
expensive and so interesting, you know, children's toys. Actually, some Hot Wheels too. Yeah. Maybe not the ones that are toasters. Your mom has some really old Barbie dolls. Yeah, she does. The ones that don't look at you, they have that little like downward glance. Some of the really old ones. The very shy Barbie dolls. That was a thing. The um, the thing is, my mom like played with them. Yeah. Which they weren't kept yeah. behind glass. But yeah, because she was a she was a kid. Yeah. And kids, you know. And she was interested in hair and their... makeup, so she like did their hair up and. Yeah, actually, my mom like did their hair for real, not just I used the little brushes included. Yeah. She like dyed their hair and like styled their hair with like hairspray and product and things like that. So like, pretty sure all the hair fell out of the Barbie dolls. They all they all went bald because of the stuff that my mom did to them. But she did that as a kid and then she grew up to become a yeah. professional. So it was, you know, a learning, learning process. Anyway, um... Do you want to try these? Yes. Yes, honestly I do. I on, I really love the packaging for the Oreos yeah, now. Yeah, um, that have... They, you should show them. They open... They I think open, everyone knows. Well, they may not! Maybe it's been a long time since I bought Oreos. They open on the top and yeah. they got like the resealable thing. That is... Can I just have half yours? Yeah, that's fine. It's <laughs> there might be more food in these boxes. It's so weird to see, uh... It's, it's and then they stick back down and seal. Oh, it's the, good. The black icing in there. Or have more than half. Sorry, I tried to make it half. Yep. The only downside to eating an Oreo on on screen is that now our teeth will be black. Mm -hmm. I didn't really think that through until like I was eating it. Those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. They certainly aren't as dark as like super dark stuff, but they have to be a, like generally accessible. If they made them like eighty five percent dark chocolate Oreos, they probably wouldn't sell very many. No, but those are really good. Now that toaster car is super cute. That's gonna go it's up. Cool. It's gonna go up on the shelf. Anyway, Crystal, thank you. Next up, we have a package from Jay in Yardville, New Jersey, and that that Jay stands for Jason, apparently. Hey, Stephen Mel and the kitties. After watching for five years, I've decided to send mail. These are some Wii games, or there are some Wii games and toys and treats for Sagan and Kepler. I really enjoy the content the two of you put out, and I've been enjoying watching Breakfast Stream as well. I look forward to uh, what's ahead in 2019. So keep up the great work from Jason. Thank you, Jason. That's very kind. Let's take a look and see what uh, Jason sent. There are... Ah, uh, this is right here, so... <laughs> Whiskalickens, which is a good name for a product designed to um, have the cats. Oh god, Kepler's right, like, on me. What do you think the odds are that I could, I could, Give like... Give him one and Sagan not run in the room? I'd have to open it very carefully. Yeah. Hold it in front of his little face. Yeah. Do you think it's possible? It's possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna talk loud so Sagan can't hear the crinkle of packaging. When he hears the crinkle of packaging, sometimes he comes running. So I'm just gonna put this over here and I'm gonna try and make a little noise and I'm gonna open this thing and it's really, really difficult. And Kepi's turning in his head cause he smells a little thing. Got a little thing right here for Kepi. Come on to the screen. You gotta get all stood up cause you are laying on your side. We want the people to see you, there ain't no reason to hide. Open your mouth and have a little whisker licking. You gotta eat it fast, yes you gotta be a quick one. Slurp it down and then you're happy, everyone is grand. And I'll give you another one if you eat it out my hand. There you go. Okay, they don't. don't Hell, your brother. They don't really get those style treats. No, they because haven't. we pretty much only feed them dry, crunchy treats. Now here is the downside to this, though. Now he's in like treat mode, and he's like, "Where are they?" You shouldn't have said the T word. Sagan knows the T word. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, okay, well, just put Take those over. Away yeah, from put Kevin. those over there. Hey, bud, you have to understand that that was it. You got your normal that was two. It. You only ever get two. That was it. You gotta go back to bed now. Go, go Take your nap. Take it's nap, nap time. It's nap time. He's Kippy, like, I don't have any. He's like, they're gone. It was good, wasn't it? Say thank you, Jason. He did lick his whiskers, so I guess it lived up to his name. All right, let's take a look at what else is in this box. 
Gippy is still very interested. Gippy's like, can I eat the Wii game? It's NCAA uh, Football 09 All Play. And for a minute I thought, I, I thought that maybe all of the characters looked like me's. But they kind of did when I saw the cover. But it looks, it looks like that's not the case. You can play normal football. That being said, it does support me's. It says, get your me in the game, which is far more thrilling uh, than it should be. The idea of having these big bobble-headed characters on the field. The Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Tiger Woods Pro P Tour 08. PGA Tour uh, 08. Uh, Madden NFL 09 All Play. So this is the same series, but I don't know if you can get your Mies in the game on that one. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Uh, FIFA Soccer 11. A lot of sports titles here. Backyard Sports, Sandlot Sluggers. Backyard Sports was actually the series, uh, one of the last games I collected for GameCube. NHL 2K11. Uh, a 360 game, it's Masters Collector's Edition. And, oh, it's a steel case. This is FIFA Soccer 13 for Xbox 360. That's fancy. Huh. And lastly, Oh my god. Seriously? Seriously. We got more fish, we got some of these fish taco toys, I think last month in mail? Was it um, last month or two months ago? No, that was the other package we opened. Oh, it was the other package yes. we opened. Ah, okay, well, it was still, it was still technically mail. Uh, now we have even more. The cats love these. They I, love I think it's them. because um, they make the crinkle. Because they get the crinkle in there. I gotta be careful because Sagan will be in here See, in a minute. Kepi's excited about the strings on these computer mice. Because <laughs> they have like. Kepi's just all excited wheels. about everything today Kepi. because he got treats. And there's a little. There's toys for you, bud. There's to <laughs> Whack! These are mine now. <laughs> right, I'm gonna set these over here. Oh, here comes. Wow, his he hearing is good. You heard the crinkle. Good. I know. I barely touched the crinkle when Sagan just walked in like, hey, I smell treats. Smell treats. There were definitely treats in here, and you guys have toys. We don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Why, you were asleep in my office chair. You should go back. You should go back there. Huh? You should go back there. Do you feel betrayed? He's smart. He knows. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a smart cat. Also, this is, these are the fingers that I use to give him the treats, so they probably smell like treats. Anyway, Jason. that's. That's it for that's it, that's it for today. That's it for this package. Jason, thank you so much for sending this stuff our way. We uh, sincerely appreciate it. We're uh, working on collecting the massive library that is we, and uh, we can certainly take all the help we can get. So we appreciate it. And uh, I promise you, if if Kepler and Sagan could thank you, they absolutely would. Our next package is from Amanda in Orlando, Florida. All right, let's open it up while I have the cats crawling all over me. Kepi's, Kepi's sitting, he's being good. Kepi's good. And there's the leather in here. Dear Stephen Amell, my name is Amanda and I have been watching you guys for about seven years now. And it's been really cool to watch you two not only grow as creators, but also grow as a pair. I also want to thank you guys for showing me some amazing board games such as Catan, Flashpoint, Coup, and many, many more. Now for the package contents. First off, the two Build-A-Bears I got, uh, the two Build-A-Bears. I got these back when I worked there. Mal, the cat is yours, and Steven, yours is the dinosaur. Aww. Oh, that's precious. Look at that little thing. It's adorable. It's so cute. Oh. And mine's a dinosaur? Very Arr! cute. He is cute. He's got a little bow tie on. He's, he's a professional dentist. Professional dentist? Yeah. His arms are too short to work on his own teeth, so he's made it his lifelong profession to work on others. How sweet. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be working on writing his backstory later this week. Uh, let's see. Uh, then, next are the socks. Mouse are the cat ones, obviously. And Stevens are the brunch ones. The brunch I'll trade ones. you. It says, uh, they, they may not fit Steven, in which case Mal gets two pairs. Yeah, I don't know how, how much these, these stretch, but I have very large feet. So now these might be... Uh, Mine says I'd spend all nine lives with you. Aw. This one says resting brunch face. <laughs> and it's got... 
it's got a little egg under a toast, like taking a nap. And the bacon is the pillow. And the bacon is the pillow. It's beautiful. It is. I saw these at Target and they made me think of you too. Anyway, that's it for now. Keep being amazing people from Amanda. Amanda, that was very sweet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really, I really like the little dine. I like the fact that he has no other clothing than the bow tie. It's like he's a Chippendales dancer, but, but, but also a dinosaur. He's a dinosaur, but he's got a job on the weekend and he can't really tell his family and friends about it. But then one day one of his friends is in the club and they see him and they're like, oh man, this is really awkward. But then he has a heart to heart and they become even better friends. I told you I'm working on that, that backstory. Yeah. Anyway, Amanda, thank you so much. Next up, we've got a package from Amazon. And we have two. We have two packages from Amazon. And this one is a gift note, so we'll start with that one. All right, so the first one says, uh, Stephen Amau, here are three games from a franchise I love. I've been wanting to see Mal tackle the puzzles of Anniversary. If you decide to try one of them out, I'd be overjoyed to see it on your channel. Greetings from uh, jo Joanne, I think Joanne, in Norway. And it's the Thank Tomb you, Raider trilogy on PS3. Oh, is this uh, the one that has, yeah, Anniversary. Okay, Anniversary, I think, that's the one, I might have them confused. I played, um, I didn't grow up with PlayStation, so I didn't get a chance to play Tomb Raider as a kid. I had a neighbor who had it, and um, I don't remember which one it was. It might be the first one, maybe. There's a part where like you can spend an obscene amount of time in like um, her home, Lara's home, and she lives in like this big mansion, and you can just explore the mansion and do all this stuff. And that was like one of the most fun things to me. It was just the idea of just exploring this giant house. And when the game the game got remade, and I think that's I think that's anniversary. I'm not sure, but I think maybe that that was anniversary. They that remade. That makes sense with the title. They remade the first game, and then it was like out on Steam. And I remember playing most of it on Steam. That's my experience with Tomb Raider. I also rented Tomb Raider Legend briefly, like way back in the day when Blockbuster was still alive, um, and I played a little of that too. But. Um, I haven't really had a chance to fully explore the Tomb Raider series. Uh, and obviously it was a very important part of gaming history because it inspired series like Uncharted. So I, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. Joanne, thanks. And then our second Amazon package. Does not have a gift receipt. Doesn't have a gift receipt. And inside is My Hero Academia, which I have heard so much about. Like, holy crap. Like this is one of those shows that I, I truly know nothing about, but I've heard the title a lot. Like this is a very, very popular show. Let's see what the back of the box says, because that'll be pretty revealing. It says, uh, from Studio Bones, the creators of Full Metal Alchemist and Soul Eater comes My Hero Academia, a superhero origin story that soars to the top of the class. It's an exciting age of heroes, where most people develop supernatural abilities known as quirks. Bright-eyed kids like Izuku Midor Ma Mi Mi Midoriya, Deku uh, for short, dream of the day they become champions of the people. There's just one little problem standing in Deku's way. In a world full of heroes, he's quirkless, crushed, but not down for the count. This superhero fanboy dedicates his time to studying the pros in hopes that he too can join a prestigious high school for heroes. In the face of despair, Deku's courage catches the eye of his ultimate idol, the symbol of justice known as All Might. With special training from the big guy himself, Deku and the talented first years of the academia, oh wait, the, in the talented first years of the academy, may finally have a shot at achieving their dreams. But these amateurs are put to the test of a lifetime when routine training becomes a battle against real villains. So he's Batman. Because Bat Batman doesn't have any real powers. Of course, this is a kid who probably doesn't have like a jillion dollars like Batman. Cause like Batman, like he's a superhero, but like he don't have any superpowers. Now other people can like talk to fish and like go into space and Batman's like, oh, I have a boomerang. I have a fancy car. <laughs> it's really fancy. Anyway, so that at least tells me more than I've, I've known about the show. So I don't know who sent this our way, but um, feel free to speak up in the comments and, uh, and, and claim this, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have a package that's coming from West Elm and we don't, we don't know who it's from. No, there okay. might be a note. 
but there might be enough. I didn't get that far it's a big, It's a big box. It's a very big box. So, Mao is in the process of getting it all opened up. There is a lot of uh, bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a leather. Is, is there a letter? Oh, it's not leather, it's just uh... Can you take this other box? I can. This is F Fish's Eddie Artist Palette Tray. Artist Palette Tray. Oh. <laughs> it says, do what you want with this. Pitney. Pitney strikes again! And it just says, Fish's Eddie Serve Word Just Try. Reading like the product description, which is their like abbreviated one. But uh, yeah, it says, do what you want with this Pitney. Well, Pitney, um, I appreciate it. I'm not sure exactly oh. what this is. What is it? I know what this is. Oh, the sound of styrofoam on cardboard makes my heart hurt. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that supposed to be like a cheese tray? It's a cheese tray. Oh my God, that is adorable. Isn't this amazing? I don't know if adorable is the right word, but it should be. I think it's adorable. That's amazing. It's not quite enough, big enough hole for my arm, but it's supposed to be like a palette, obviously. Yeah, it's a palette. Sorry, plane of focus is here. Yeah. Uh, this is this is. And it has like gorgeous paints, like in the ceramic. Yeah. Man, I love this. Isn't that beautiful? Also, the company's called Fish's Eddie, which now makes a lot more sense because I was like, I don't understand. There's a fish in this box. <laughs> that's, that's that's amazing. Really cool. Actually, it's it's interesting. We've been given. Like uh, several interesting cheese trays yeah. over the years, and uh, I love having a cheese platter for guests. Though yeah, we did that when um, Emil and Masse were here, mm -hmm. and it went over really well. And this is this might be one of the coolest ones yeah. I think we've ever been given. This is awesome, Pitney. This is very sweet. Thank you. Next up, we've got two different packages from Etsy. I'm under the impression that they're probably arriving together. They are. We got them in the box about the same time. So it's reasonable. Although it could be two different things from two it could different be. people. I don't know. Mal's getting the uh, the first one open now. I had two bags. Yeah, she opened the first bag and thought she had it, but it, there, there was, was another, another bag, bag inside. And inside is. There's a note taped to the tag. And it says. There you go. For Mal, I hope the size is right. <laughs> from Pitney? Question mark. Oh my gosh. That's a cute shirt. So cute. Yin Yang kitties. I love that. I love it. It, love it feels that. like it fits like this, so. That's really fantastic. So I love the color. Yeah, that's it's a good color too. It's kind of a purpley gray, but mostly gray. And I'm really into gray lately. <laughs> Normally I have to stop myself from buying things blue and black. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this other one. There we go. Is it in a double bag? Uh, no, this one wasn't double bagged. And this one, I don't think has a gift note. <laughs> <laughs> Got toast. <laughs> uh, with no gift note, I'm, I may just assume that this is also from, from Pitney. Uh, thank you, this is, uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, this is a good, uh, this is a good breakfast stream shirt. Yeah. This is a good breakfast stream shirt indeed. Did you feel how soft this was? That is a soft shirt. Isn't it? Gracious. Yeah, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is great. Did I ever tell you that I actually made a shirt? Is it 500 babies? No, that's not, that was 400 babies and that wasn't my shirt. You, re you stretched there, That was you tried. Um, no, I, I, I made a parody of the Got Milk shirt in high school, because I was doing videos in high school, and that we had a, a mascot for the channel, well, it wasn't a channel, because YouTube didn't oh, exist. Oh, Goat, yeah. Yeah, we had a paper mache duck, and we named him Goat, and I actually had, I still have the sweatshirt, I think, in my parents' closet, maybe. Either that, or we donated it to a Goodwill, and they're very confused, that it says Got Goat. And I think on the back was a picture of Goat. But, um, Anyway, it brought back some memories for me too. Thank you so much for the shirts. Next up, we have a package from Diane in Great Britain. And uh, the leather, we, we reached in and, and got the leather out. Uh, and the leather says, 
Hello, Stephen, Mao, and boys. My name is Diane. I got into your daily vlogs via my son. I, like many other watchers, came via Chugga. We also uh, watched John and Tim. I think uh, you were in your last year of SCAD when uh, Thomas first showed me your daily vlog. We are on April 2012 at the moment. Thomas has also watched your Let's Plays and Mail Vlog, Breakfast Stream, etc. Uh, before we even began watching together. Every time you're either cooking or eating, uh, we get so hungry, almost drooling. <laughs> We also love spotting Sagan and Kepler and Rocco when you go home. Also, you both have not aged one bit. Thomas has uh, bought one of Mal's prints from a Minecraft painting, which is awesome. Now we go into the parcel. Um, I went into the world aisle for some of the candy and chocolates. I've also enclosed treats for the cats and Rocco. I hope you enjoy what we have sent. Kind regards, uh, Diane, aka Thomas's mom. P.S. Wonder if you have other mom and son viewers. Uh, we do. Um, there's actually. Every once in a while, we'll get mail from families. Yeah, or yeah. we'll see them at meetups or... Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, there's uh, there's actually quite a few, uh, you know, parent-child parent mm -hmm. combos, you know, that uh, that watch and uh, even comment and stuff regularly, yeah. which is super cool. And one of the interesting things is that we've been doing this for so long that there's a lot of times where the, the, the families will start watching us when the kids are younger. Yeah, some of our viewers have had children and their children are starting to get older now. Yes, yeah. like we've we've had mail, um, you know, from people where their kids started watching us when they were, you know, 10. And then now the kids are like halfway through college. And I'm like, man, that we really have been doing this, you know, quite a while. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's great that, that we, can be content that is enjoyed by everyone. I, I think that's, personally, I think that's one of the greatest things that you can aspire to do is to create content that's accessible for all ages. And that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. I'm glad that we can be enjoyed by adults and kids alike. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the package. Find out. On top, what, we uh, have Dreamies. Dreamies. Those look like Those, the same. Yeah, that's the same cat. And the same font, I think. Yes, I don't know what it's called. That's a, that's a common thing though, because um, this is coming from Great Britain. There's mm -hmm. a lot of times where they have different names for things, yeah. because whenever you go to trademark stuff in different countries, sometimes that name's taken. So you have to trademark a different name. So you get things that are just like slightly bizarre. It reminds me of the like Burger Kings in Australia aren't called Burger Kings. McDonald's are Maccas. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. Anyway, more cat treats. Which they I, love those, by the way. I so. know that they will appreciate. Mm -hmm. We've got... Tea? Yeah. Yeah, this is some tea. 20, 20 tea bags, red berry infusion, which sounds lovely. I always love fruit tea. Mm-hmm, I do too. Oh boy. Oh man! Oh, you're gonna love these. Caramel crunch? Caramel Crunch M&M's. I have not tried these. They're limited edition, apparently. So that's awesome. I love M&M's. These are my absolute favorite M&M's. For the longest time, these weren't in the States. We talked about it for years, about how yep. Mal really enjoyed these. And uh, they still existed overseas. Mm -hmm. And they finally have, I think, come back, but it's super limited quantities. I think so. And they, they changed, blue was crispy here. The blue bag, and then they made they pretzels. They made it pretzels, yep. And then they brought these back. And I think they're green here now. Yeah, and I don't think they even have very many of these no, now. No, I haven't pretzels seen them in a long time. Pretzels kind of like taken over the, yeah. the thing. Which is a shame, because crispy are the best. Mal's always really loved crispy M&Ms. Then we've got chili candy, dare yourself. Six levels. Oh, that's interesting. So they're, what, hot jelly beans? I, I and guess. And each color is a different yeah, I guess there's jelly beans, and there's a scale from one to six, and you you can choose how hot of an experience you want. So if you get like the really dark red ones, that's as high as it goes. That's interesting. That's interesting. There's another package of these. Another Dreamies. And Mikado, which are Pocky, but not Pocky. It's a different brand. Well, it's Glyco. Oh, it is Glyco? Yeah, Glyco, Glyco. So it must be, I don't know. Maybe this is just the name they have for other countries? Maybe. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm always learning. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Dark chili with a hint of lime. Chocolate bar? It's a chocolate bar with uh, 
chilies and lime. Here is a very similar one. Ah, so hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Not hot chocolate that you drink, but uh, spicy chocolate. Which is actually a pretty good combination if you've never never had it. Extra crunch. <laughs> Dreamies with extra crunch. And there's also mini exploding chocolate oranges. What? They're chocolate oranges, but it says Minnie's Exploding Candy. Real orange flavored milk chocolates with pop, oh, okay. Pop rocks. They got pop rocks in them. So they're orange flavored chocolate and then inside are pop rocks. That's clever. That's really clever. I've never seen such a thing before. Intense. Uh, intense Mikado. So really. Dark chocolate probably. Probably dark chocolate. Lemon Drizzle Kit Kats. Never heard of this. No. Two crispy wafers covered with lemon flavor milk chocolate. There's a second one. So one for each of us. The Kit Kat challenge never ends. There's always new Kit Kats to try. That's really interesting. Okay. Hello, Panda. <laughs> Hello, Panda, how are you? Well, I'm fine, except I'm trapped in this box with 20 of my closest friends. These are delicious. Grew up eating those. Yorkshire mixtures, an assortment of fruit, Aniseed and peppermint flavored sweets. And Sagan is already over here like, I'm, uh, I'm smelling some stuff. I know, stuff. I heard the word that starts with the T. Hi, bud. Sorry. Not, not, not now. There was some treats given out earlier. You missed, missed you your missed opportunity. Out. Maltesers buttons. I visited uh, Great Britain uh, in 2007. 2007. And uh, I fell in love with the original Maltesers. We have a similar product in the States called Whoppers, but Maltesers are just better. And then these I are- I don't think I've ever had them. These are somewhat different. Maybe. Everyone's favorite new flatmates. So I'm guessing that these are model teasers, they're just- Flat? They're flat, which is a really cool idea. And also, Princessa Zebra, which it looks like a little, like a wafer, wafer. A wafer. Wafer. I tried to say waffle and wafer. It's a wafer candy with uh, some cream, I believe. And then there's another lemon drizzle Kit Kat and cookies and cream, which also is different. And none of these, none of these Kit Kat flavors were in the uh, yeah. 45th anniversary box. So there's even there's a few more, a few more Kit Kats, uh, and cookies they're packaged, and cream. They're wrapped opposite of how they are in the states. Yeah, which is really interesting. Huh. Okay. This last Kit Kat. <laughs> so all these Kit Kats, and then also there is. Uh, a princess, uh, Kokosawa, which looks like some sort of coconut bar. And what is that, Mel? Uh, Avocat? But it a looks- Advocate? Maybe? Is that Cyrillic, like, Russian? Uh, I don't know what that is exactly. But it looks mango-y. It looks like it's mango. Mango chocolate. I'm not entirely sure. That's a little different. Awesome. So there's all sorts of treats here. Um, Lots of treats. I have interest in trying two treats right now on the on 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 the show. On the video. On the show. Um, first up is uh, this. But I might want to end with it. No, it'd be less interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Uh huh. Because I've never had a crunchy caramel M and M. Do you think it's like a Butterfinger? Hmm. Oh, you're wondering about peanuts. There are peanuts in this. That's for me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. It is. It's like they put butterfingers in. It's M &Ms. like a butterfinger inside of a big M and M. Which is awesome if you like butterfingers, which I do. In fact, I was telling Mal the other day. I was like, you know what? I haven't had in forever. Butterfinger BBs. I think they're gone. And Matt was like, I'm pretty sure those haven't been around for like 15 years. Yeah. And I was like, that might be why I haven't had them. So, yeah. I remember getting them as a kid because there was all these commercials with Bart Simpson. Yeah. He was like, you better not lay a finger on my Butterfinger BBs. Because he he did the Butterfinger commercials yeah. and then when they made the new product. Anyway, these are, these are good. The other thing I wanted to try, I thought it'd be appropriate because, you know, if we didn't, people would be asking about them anyway. These chili candies. Chili candies? Level one through six. Oh, Cappy, honey. You you, that's not for Cappy. You definitely don't want these. Not for Cappy. Not for Cappy. All right. Um, 
So I, I can't imagine that these would have peanuts in them. No, I don't think so. Uh, they most, look, they most look like, like jelly, jelly beans. bean candy still. Yeah. So yeah, I think you're good. Just kind of quickly glancing over it. It's mostly <laughs> chili, sugar, chili powder. Um, I'm gonna open these up. Do it on the opposite side so you don't ruin the label that tells us what's what. Well, it's just green is yeah. cooler. <laughs> they, they smell a little hot. Mallory, would you like to try one? Start with dark green. Dark green. Dark green is the most smart. Oh, you're going for number one? Uh, yeah, you gotta work your way to see. I don't wanna eat six jelly beans all right now. I just, I was gonna have one, which means I was gonna go straight to the top. I'm okay. going for the purple. Give me a yellow. Level three? Level three. Okay. That's that's level four. All right, here's what, here's what we'll do. We'll do a trust exercise. You close your eyes. No! <laughs> you close your eyes and you I'll put it- You close your eyes. You close your eyes and I'll put it in your mouth. No. Don't you trust me? No. Why don't, why don't you try a six? And then we'll both be able to experience no. the same thing. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna try six. <laughs> no, because you've lied about that. I'll, no, I'll try six, and then based on my interactions, you'll no, know. I'm gonna have three. All right, now you try three, so I'll know what to expect on this six. Is it fine? It's fine, isn't it? What's wrong? Is it I feel hot? like I'm on hot ones. So that was a three. Three's not bad. It starts off real sweet, and I'm like, man, is there any heat to this? And then it kicks in, and it's it's hot. Okay. If I if I try the six and I don't wince, will you try one? <laughs> no. What? No. I was hoping that uh, there would be some sort of way I could get you to try no. one of these. No. no. Uh, under no circumstances. No. All right. Well, I'll try it. Sweet. Yeah. It takes a minute. I'm rubbing it all over my mouth. It takes a minute. Still sweet. I can still feel the heat from the yellow one. I'm literally rubbing it all over my mouth right I now. I don't believe you. Just swallowed it. I don't believe you. <laughs> literally, literally nothing. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna do one, two. Let's see, is there another one? What's after yellow orange? Here, that's that's three sixes. This is orange. <laughs> you sure you don't you sure you don't want to try six? I'm sure. Okay, well I'm gonna do eighteen. Let's see if I can get something with three. Mm-hmm. I was curious if in Great Britain they handle spicy food well, and because there's a lot of Indian influence, I would assume that they they probably can. Orange is hotter than yellow. I mean, of course it is, but like, how there's heat to the six? No, I don't believe you because you've said that before. You're like, oh, you can handle this, and then I can't. Um, well, I don't. I think I ate all the sixes. You're just trying these now. Yes. Did you just eat a one that was lower? Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Diane, thank you to both you and Thomas for sending these our way. Um, these are probably hot for a uh, Midwest palate. That's why you're experiencing difficulties and I'm eating all the sixes and I'm like, mm. Like I definitely, there's a tingle a little bit on my tongue, but not like, mm -hmm. I'm good. For people not in the US where I'm from, which is like Chicago, north of Chicago, we don't There's really no spicy food. do spicy. Like <laughs> we do like kielbasa and mm -hmm. like sausage. That's it. Like our like when we make food, it all tends to be pretty flavorless. That's the saddest admission ever. And like, uh, in the southeast, very mild flavors. We eat spicy stuff, so it's uh, yeah. yeah, this is no problem. This is this is training wheels. I mean, I need one that goes up to twenty. Down here, it's a lot of like Creole cooking and. Mm -hmm. um, Cajun spices and it's very hot down here. I, I can just envision all the comments now are like, 
Mao should have had the six. No. Mao no, should have had no, the six. No. Anyway, Diane and Thomas, thank you. Next up, we have a package coming from Kalamazoo, Mississippi. Michigan. Michigan. Sometimes, sometimes the state abbreviations trip me up. And it's a little cat sticker. It's a little cutie. And inside is a card a with cat. more cats. And it, it the 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 fact that it's the sunflowers and the the nature of the lighting reminds me of what's that beer? The beer that it look their advertisements have this. I don't know anything about beer. It's just the one with it's like an orange. Shock it, top. Shock top. Is that it? This is like or shock are you top like for cats. Referencing like. I don't. I think it's shock top. I'm not very. I don't know much about alcohol. Hey, Stephen Amell. Back in October, we visited Portland, Oregon, and stopped into Pal City of Books, the largest question mark bookstore in the world. While browsing the foreign language books, we remembered Lindsay's Harry Potter collection and oh. picked up the first two books in Russian for Ooh. her. We're good at procrastinating. And since it feels wrong to send you a package that's not actually for you, plus the box had more room, we've also included some coffee, etc. Though sadly, our grocery store no longer carries dark roast Tim Hortons uh, cake cups. Hope all is well, and that your vertigo is better by the time you read this, Steven. All the best, Matthew and Tessa. Oh, it's Matthew and Tessa! Oh, yeah. Hey, folks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my vertigo is eh, mostly, mostly better. Mostly better. Uh, Lindsay will be thrilled. She's gonna be so thrilled. <laughs> also, I love that it's in the same font. I love the illustrations, and I know she's just gonna be thrilled about she's, this. She's she's gonna be like, yeah. That she's gonna do that face and this hand motion. She's oh, and the go, spines make a picture too. She's gonna love that. She's going to love yeah, that. Yeah, she actually, um, I think just recently she got a bookshelf for her bedroom where she's displaying it, right? Yes, she is, I think. Yeah. So she's working on creating this big, huge display of all the, the Harry Potter books. So that's super kind. Uh, she's gonna be thrilled. And uh, thank you both for, for, for sending this stuff our way. Uh, also hope things are going good for you guys. Um, wicked, wicked Dark Organic Dark Chocolate with Ginger. So Ginger Dark Chocolate. It's 95% dark, so they ain't playing around. This is, uh, oh man! No way, I actually just finished, I seriously just finished a container, a of, container of this. But it wasn't this flavor, it was like. I think it was this flavor, it was just, it also had like the little marshmallows in it. Okay. It was like a Christmas thing. Yeah, there was like a polar bear on it. And I just finished it and I was like, man, that was really good hot chocolate. And then suddenly there's more. It's the same brand and everything. And it's my brand, I made this. I mean, I know how to make hot chocolate. You, uh, it requires sugar. Coke, cocoa. cocoa. Uh, there's also Tim Hortons K-Cups, which is super exciting. I will drink the heck out of this. Half of it. I'll drink the heck out of half of it. So, uh, anyway, um, thank you both for sending that stuff our way. And uh, honestly, I can't wait to <laughs> surprise a Lindsay. Dan, don't tell her. Anyway, Matthew and Tessa, again, thank you so much for sending this stuff our way. Next up, we have a package from Lindsay in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we already opened the package. Uh, Lindsay didn't want her leather red, uh, but she said a lot of nice things, which I appreciate. Uh, she enjoys watching us and tuning in for breakfast stream and whatnot, so uh, thank you for the leather, Lindsay. And I don't know what yet is in the box. It was beautifully wrapped. But it was beautifully wrapped. Like, like this thing is perfectly packed, so we're gonna find out um, what Lindsay sent our way. Start with the little thing because it's so easier to pull is... out. It's a little bracelet. Oh, that's cute. It's a it's a little got, charm. Yeah, bracelet. it's got little charms on it. And, and there's a, a palette with paint Aww. brushes on it. One that says inspire, create, and there's a paintbrush. So I don't know. I don't know if Dan actually this this is one where I can I can assist. There we go. You can actually see that there. That's super cool. Now I have to reestablish focus. <laughs> so that's the first thing, and there's also this box. It says gift a cup. Gift a cup. All right. So let's find out. Presume uh, I'm, I'm presuming it's a cup. Just 
Just because it says... That's a pretty good guess, Steven. Well, it says cup on the outside. So I'm going to open this up. And there's actually two cups. Two cups. And this cup says, I will always... <laughs> I will always be your player one, and I will always be your player two. Aw, that's cute. And I love that they're Super Nintendo controllers. That is my favorite, favorite console. I guess if you want to be real specific, they're Super Famicom controllers because they got the- Well, they're more colorful Because and they got the colors. Yeah. But let's be honest, and I, th I think a lot of people agree with me, Super Nintendo should have had colorful controllers. They I understand that it was the 90s and they were trying to market to kids that like don't want it to be a toy, but it's so much better with the colors. So yeah, these are awesome. These are super. You can do cheers, but you gotta be careful because they are like ceramic. Lindsay, thank you. Those are those are awesome. I always love uh, to get really cool mugs, and uh, those are some some really really cool mugs. And lastly. A shirt. Oh, there's a shirt in here. I honestly, I thought that that was some sort of divider. It it's, was no, it's tissue wrap wrapped perfectly to fit everything. I thought it was like a styrofoam thing in oh. there. It was wrapped so beautifully. There's a shirt, and the shirt says, <laughs> "Are you serious? Two toast shirts in one mail video? I love toast. God, I do. <laughs> I do love toast." I always, I always enjoyed toast, but after the doctor was like, yeah, uh, whole, whole grains are good for your cholesterol, it's like, then I will consume the toast, and the toast shall be within me. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Lindsay, thank you. That is, that is an absolutely great, great shirt, and this package is fantastic as well. Um, just really appreciate it. This is uh, this is awesome, and I'm glad that you've enjoyed watching our stuff. I'm glad you you know discovered our stuff, and uh, I hope you continue to enjoy the sometimes very bizarre stuff that we create. <laughs> Last up, we have a package from Jillian. No kippies. Not in uh, Sacramento, California, and uh, it came priority mail, which uh, is real convenient for box oh. opening, because uh, Mal can just. Pull that, that lever. That lever? That lever. And uh, get that thing open. Ooh, I opened it on the right side. Ooh, good. Because it says, open me. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and uh, do what it asks. Inside there is a leather. And it says, uh, Dear Stephen Mal, hello. Uh, I'll make this leather short and sweet. Hope you two are doing well. I wanted to send you a package because you're my favorite content creators slash YouTubers slash Twitch streamers. Anyways, one day I was cleaning out my closet and I stumbled across stuff that I haven't seen in a long time. I was about to donate it or give it away, but my mind thought, why not give it to Steven Amell? Included in the package are a, uh, a little pop-up theater of San Francisco. So I'm, I'm just like, read out stuff if you can find it. That's this. That thing? Yeah. It looks like you open it up and put a light bulb in it. Oh, okay. We got a greeting card one time that was a similar, like a pop-up book yeah. type thing. It says, uh, I wanted to give you this because I remember watching a vlog where Stephen visited San Francisco. Sad that it was only for a few days. I hope someday you and Mal can visit San Francisco again and stay longer. Yeah, I'd like to. I Mal was there a long time ago, but I was young. Yeah, you were there a long time ago and I was there for like, 12 hours 12 or something. Hours, I was yeah. there for an exceedingly small amount of time. Oh, okay, that's what this is. And it was, uh, I, I was flown out there by Ubisoft for Far Cry 4, and it was super fun, but it was real quick. That's beautiful. San Francisco, San Francisco is, I think, an objectively beautiful city. It is. It's just got a lot going they for it. They have the Fireman Tower and the one building I forget the name of. It's the pointy one. The pointy building. Uh, next is a handheld called Brick Game 9999-in-1. It has a LCD-based screen and is styled after Tetris block matrix matrixes. The games are usually arranged within alphabetical letters, with each letter corresponding with different games. Each game has its own variations from snake uh, racing and plain old Tetris. Thought you guys would like the novelty of it. And fun fact, this handheld was popular in the 80s and 90s, manufactured in China. It is often considered as a low-cost toy that can be easily found on dollar stores or toy stores. I've seen that before. Have you seen that before? No, it's... not this exact one, but Carly and I had a little Tetris machine like this. Yeah. And it had a calculator on the back. 
Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've seen this, but I have I've absolutely seen this before. It's been a decade. But yeah, these uh, these have like a, a jillion different little uh, games in one. I don't know, this would probably be very nostalgic for some people watching. They're like, oh my god, I remember that thing. Last is an Atari Flashback Classic Gaming Console. I don't remember how I got my hands on this console. All I remember is I got this all the way back in 2004. I played it every couple months or so, but stopped playing it all together. I wanted to give this to you because I thought it'd be perfect to add to your collection of classic mini gaming consoles. So that's cool. It's got uh, 20 Atari games built in, including Adventure, Air Sea Battle, uh, Crystal Castles. Actually, someone just some recently gave us a, a sealed copy of Crystal Castles for the Atari. Um, Charlie Chuck's Food Fight, Centipede, uh, Yara's Revenge, Asteroids. Millipede. Millipede. So some classics in here. Breakout. Fantastic. God, I want to hook this up and play Breakout. You ever play Breakout? Yeah. Breakout might be one of my favorite like Atari age games. Just absolutely love that, that title. So with that said, do what you want with them. I just wanted to give them a new home. Hope this letter made sense. I'm not really good at letters. Keep up the good work and hope to see more content from you too. Sincerely, uh, Jillian. Well, Jillian, thank you. Thank you so much for sending this stuff our way. It's very kind. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the what's it called, the brick game? The brick game brings back memories. I actually, I never, um, I never actually owned one, but um, you know, I knew I knew some people that did. So I'll turn it off so it doesn't make more noise. Uh, and the Atari flashback console is really cool as well. Uh, anyway, Jillian, thank you so much for sending this stuff our way, and for everyone who sent stuff our way, thank you for making uh, the February mail video so much fun. Uh, we've been very busy um, producing all sorts of content because we are getting ready to go on a trip, and uh, this. This was actually one of the last big videos that we needed to uh, needed to make sure that we produced, and uh, it's just there's so many awesome things. There's so much so much awesome food. We are we are snacked out, man. I'm uh, and some of the things like whenever we do a mail video, some of the stuff doesn't reseal, which is fine. But what it means is like I have an excuse to like eat them, like these crunchy caramel M and M's. Which it's contain not like peanuts. We have Ziploc bags or anything. It's impossible. We'd have no way of resealing these. So you know, and and these these actually are they have peanuts. So uh, that means they're exclusively for me. So like, I gotta I gotta eat them. I, there's the only way. I'm just gonna consume all of these right now. Well, the crispy ones are mine. That's fair. That's a fair trade. Anyway, thank you all so much for sending stuff our way. If you're watching right now and you'd like to learn how to do that, in the description is a link. It'll take you over to the Mail FAQ. It'll tell you where to send it, what to send, what not to send, and other little information that may be of interest to you. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next month for another dance, Cappy. Boop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop. 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 Boop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop.